go. <laughs> he knocked this over then. Uh, so, chaps, World Cup's coming around the corner. Who do we think? Top goal scorer, Golden Boot. Who are we going for? Well, favourite is Neymar. I think about nine to one. I think we have good reason though. Yeah. You look at not just because he's Neymar, but you look at the Brazil's group. It's a kind. It's a kind group yeah. with yeah. with Switzerland are the you know the next best team. And if you look at the, ne the next round game, it's, it's, that's also pretty kind. Yeah. And the thing is that that whole Brazil team is completely geared towards him. I think as well he's going to be he's going to be on penalties. He's going to be on free kicks. He's going to be on everything. That so, yeah. Yeah. And you expect him to go deep in the competition. So. Anyone who um, we expect to be in in the race for the golden boot will probably make it to at least the quarters. Uh, you know what it takes is someone to do a Selenko and score five against you know the worst team in the world. One player scoring a hat load against one team for self glory. I think that's the perfect time to transfer to uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, <laughs> who's uh, next I player on the list. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, in the running for for this because. He just scores a lot of goals on the biggest stage, and you know, and an opportunity to take his top off around the world. I mean, he's not going to miss out on that. Yeah, exactly. I think as well. I think Portugal sometimes when you play four four two, if he's got someone else alongside him, well, I'm not sure who that would be. But again, that might give him a bit, bit, you know, more opportunities. But okay. the, the, the player with the most pressure on their shoulders this this summer, it's, it's easily Messi. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, in Argentina, he's nowhere near as revered as he is in Barcelona, yeah. and all because of the World Cup, yeah. because cool. you know. They missed out in, in 2014, even though he won the Best Player Award, dubiously. I mean, like Tevez has always been the one but, there. But it, it doesn't make sense because when he's not playing, they're rubbish. Do you, do you, th do you think it's, it's more difficult for him because his role is different within the Argentina so When you look at Barcelona and the way he plays there and that, that sort of system, when he plays for Argentina, it's a little bit different and he has to adapt and maybe that's been a difficulty in the past. All right, let's reel through some bit quicker. Timo Werner, a little bit of a... I tell you what, Timo Werner, like, were I a betting man, and I am, um, money would money would go on him. Like, like, depending on who you bet with, 14 to six, 14, 16 to one, he's going to be Germany's first choice striker. Mm. They'll go yeah. far. They'll, They'll go, go far. He'll get lots of opportunities to score. Um, See, I I would put my money on Müller because Thomas Müller, um, he he's basically made a living. Uh, and a reputation uh, scoring goals in a World Cup. He's got 10 World Cup go goals in total. He could finish this, this World Cup being the all-time World Cup top scorer, which is mental. And he's only 28. He's still got another World Cup yeah. in him. I think, I think it's time to throw a dark horse into the mix. You mean Harry Kane? Not Harry Kane, no. <laughs> Meli Lukaku? No. 15, 16 to 1? I mean, you know, go, to, go, going on the, uh, you know, the, the, the stereotype of um, scoring against poor teams, he's got two, maybe three, yeah. if you include England, uh, poor teams in, um, in his group. Yeah. Sometimes I mean, that's all you need. Like, yeah. you, said, you mentioned Selenko yeah. earlier, five goals in one game, they're going yeah. in the golden boot. Yeah, so exactly. it is entirely possible. You know, Griezmann, maybe, you know, Griezmann top scorer at uh, Euro 2016. Um, and France forgot what is it? Denmark, Peru, and Australia in their group. Yeah, I mean, group. you can't you can't see them not getting out of that that group. Yeah. Mohamed Salah, who that's an outside bet, forty to one. It's a tough yeah. ask. Though. It is a big <laughs> ask, yeah, because Salah doesn't have his Liverpool teammates for Egypt. Oh, yeah. He doesn't need them though. <laughs> doesn't, he just gets the ball and then does his yeah. thing. They've got Saudi Arabia, Russia, and Uruguay in there. Yeah. In their group, I mean Saudi Arabia. What better opponents are there to stick a few goals past than, than them? You know, Russia aren't Russia aren't great, um, and Uruguay traditionally strong, but that defence is aging. By the way, we cannot do this without mentioning Harry Kane. <laughs> he's on the next cover, and with, and he's talking about the race for the Golden Boot, and you know. Um, and so this is genuine, it's not an outlandish to say that he, he's, he's definitely in the running for this. And he, he, he thinks he is as well, which is... No, know, no one um, doubts Harry Kane from, in this country. Everyone else doubts England. That's the problem. Yeah, he's got a shoot on the site policy, which I think will carry on in, into the World Cup. And Do you not look at the Euros? Is it not a slight concern when you look at his form there and his performances there? And he sort of ran out of it's gas. Taking it. Yeah, it's corner taking there. Yeah. And his free kicks. Yeah. <laughs> but, but what's changed in, the, in those two years is that he's um, 
played in and scored in the Champions League, so he stepped up a level there. Um, he's so confident as well. Yeah. He, he's one of the most confident players around. Yeah. Well, he, he knows his own. own yeah, exactly. He believes in his own ability. Yeah. Yeah. And, everyone, and the good thing is now, everyone else believes in him as well. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he, he's England captain and no one will quibble with that. Yeah. But is the pressure is surely completely different, isn't it? Leading the line for England or leading the line for Spurs every week. It's a very different pressure, and I wonder whether at the Euros, whether that played a part. He seemed so drained. I think he did then, yeah. but I think he's developed as a player since then, um, and scored against bigger teams in the Champions League, and I wouldn't be surprised if he does it again at the World Cup.